Hi, this is Murray from Second Time Tech, and today we're going to be talking about the uh, different lengths of times that it takes to render uh, videos in DaVinci Resolve uh, with different types of graphics cards, because I have a few on hand, so I tried to see like which one would work better, either uh, NVIDIA or AMD. So I tried, um, I think it was a GTX 1050, uh, GTX 1060, 3 gigabyte, a RX 580, 4 gigabyte, and a RX 580, 8 gigabyte just to see if there was any differences in times, for either from how fast they are, what brand they are, how much memory they have. So I thought I'd just try it out and have a look-see, and I'll give you the, the results on that. Now, the first thing that uh, I wanted to talk about was um, I put four fans on the... Uh, was it Deep Cool Captain 240EX? Uh, and uh, it's on the uh, front of my uh, computer now. And I've been running it for a little while. And I ran Prime 95. And the highest that I got was 75 degrees Celsius. And uh, the ambient temperature was 24 degrees. And so that's. Uh, a delta temperature of 51 degrees Celsius. That isn't much better than whenever it only had two fans. I think it dropped maybe three or four degrees because now whenever I ran it this time, I had it overclocked at four gigahertz. So I think the last time it was only running at 3.9. So I had figured it out compared to my... Uh, master liquid one that it was probably around eight or nine degrees difference well it went up a little bit but not that much so i figured it's doing a little better but still not as good as what i thought it would do i s think that probably the uh, uh was it uh the Cooler Master, Master Liquid 120 would actually run better. I almost swear. Um, because then I remember the numbers were way lower. They were like 67 degrees Celsius was the highest that I got. And, but that was in the winter whenever it was 20 degrees Celsius in uh, the area that I am in. And right now it's 24 degrees Celsius. So I think what I'd have to do is take that one out and put this one back in and try it again. I might do that. I'm not positive. But I will let you know. Um, the uh, other thing is that uh, the last uh, video that I had was 9 minutes and 45 seconds. And the render time was... 2 minutes and 38 seconds, so it rendered it in 27% time of the length of the video. So that's actually quite good. And that would be under, uh, like, all auto mode, uh, except for the memory. The memory was uh, still uh, um, timed properly. Now, the next thing that I can talk about is the uh, graphics cards and how they relate it to DaVinci Resolve uh, number 15, beta 6, uh, did on re-rendering this uh, video over and over again. Well, my, my last video over and over again. So it was always 9 minutes and 45 seconds was the length of the video. So I thought that was pretty good. So... Basically, what I did was 
I tried it on the card that I always had, which was the MSI RX 580 4GB. And in overclock mode, which is 4 gigahertz, it ran in 2 minutes and 17 seconds. And so that means it was a 23.4% render time. Now, whenever it was in auto mode, I had just told you what it was there. So again, it was 2 minutes and 38 seconds and it was 27%. And then what I tried to do was I downclocked it. And the reason why I downclocked it was I was sitting there thinking, I don't really even need to run it that fast when I'm using it as my DEN computer. I was talking about that last week. I said, well, what's the lowest I can put it? Well, 2.3 gigahertz is the lowest that it will go in BIOS. So that's what I set it to. And then I just rendered it on that one just to see what it would be. And it ran at 3 minutes and 31 seconds. And it was a 36 point one percent render time on that so like i did those times on each one of the video cards but i'm not going to tell you each one of them what i'll do is i'll tell you what the four gigahertz uh cpu overclock and the tightened memory timings one was just so that it uh, doesn't take like a real long time so on the XFX RX 580, uh, the 8 gigabyte version, it took 2 minutes and 16 seconds. So basically one second less. So it was 23.3% time. So the doubling the memory and the extra uh, electronics that was in there it um, didn't help. It's exactly the same, just about. Then the next one that I ran it at was the Gigabyte GTX 1050 2 Gigabyte, which was the slowest video card that I have. And the uh, CPU was overclocked to uh, 4.0 gigahertz. And it ran in two minutes and 16 seconds, which is 23.3% time. So it's exactly the same. And the video card was like way slower. So then I tried the GTX 1060, three gigabyte model. And I'm pretty sure it's an EVGA model. Actually, it is a VGA model. I just looked at the box. And it took, uh, let's see, for the uh, R7-1700 overclocked to 4 gigahertz again, it ran it in 2 minutes and 15 seconds. And that should have been the fastest card that I had. And it took... 23.1% time. So basically, it was the same time for every one of them. And it was the same time for it in auto mode and the same times for it in 2.3 gigahertz mode. They're, they were all around the same percentages. I was, I thought for sure that there'd be something different because supposed to be uh, some reference with the uh, video card that you have in there, but I'm not getting any difference at all. And I checked the settings, and the settings saw that it was changing and and all that, and it said it was all set up automatically to work, and it said it was going to use the card. And, and like I say, as far as I know, it uh, it did what it was supposed to do, and my studio computer just so that you know the way it was set up uh is an amd r7 1700 ryzen and the cpu was set to those three different settings which was 2.3 gigahertz then in auto mode like out of the box and then uh, overclocked to uh, 4.0 gigahertz and the uh, 
memory timings were tightened on every one of them. So I didn't change the memory at any time. And that would be the 16 gigabytes of 3600 megahertz Corsair Vengeance LPX um, RAM, and it's a CL18. And uh, it was running at 3200 megahertz, 13, 14, 14, 30. And then it was at T1 timing. And the other things that was in it was, of course, the motherboard is an ASUS Crosshair uh, 6 Hero X370 motherboard. And it has a 600 watt EVGA 80 plus bronze power supply. And the uh, boot drive is a Kingston KC1000 480 gigabyte NVMe uh, M.2 drive. So that's basically what uh, it was running in. So, like I said, that is really weird to me. I thought for sure I'd see something different. I was kind of hoping the the better ones would give me faster timings, at least something different, but I don't see any timings different at all. So the only, the biggest thing was overclocking the CPU. And I know that whenever I was using the GTX 470, I know that uh, it took way longer. So it isn't just any video card in there because the older ones, they're not working because it ran way longer, but any of these ones, no matter what the speed is on them, it still gives me the same time, the same render times. So, like I said, it was an eye opener for me. But anyway, my next video is going to be on uh, building a uh, computer, and it's going to be uh, a Ryzen 5 1400. Uh, on a, uh, I think it's a Asus ROC Strix uh, B350 motherboard, if I'm not mistaken. Well, that's all there is for today. So if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you don't like the video, hit the thumbs down. Uh, if you like the content, please subscribe. If you want notifications, you do have to click the bell. I do want to wish everybody a wonderful week. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Bye.